so I thought this would be a good time to uh, start talk about what's on my mind what's on my mind today is Kyrie Irving Kyrie Kyrie Irving this man is not what you think for it's not what you think it is not the reason you think it is um I remember in the finals well before that let's talk about current events Kyrie Irving said he didn't want to play with LeBron anymore at first I was extremely upset I was like he must not want to win no rings he must want to average it he must want to average 47 points a game you know I was real upset like man see just you selfish you selfish but then more information come out now that is why people they say first impression is everything so don't like be careful with that don't jump to conclusions just from instant you know reaction because the more it come out the more and more I think more than I think I know that I'm on Kyrie's side but yeah I guess I think because it's not really it's not really sides that I'm trying to pick it's just I understand Kyrie it's like LeBron loves old people everybody he played with Mike Miller James Jones Ray Allen uh Udonis Haslam um who else is on that team Sean Marion remember him David Black don't remember him. He can't even play in the finals. He can't even get two minutes. That's disrespectful. Who else? He just loved Shane Battier. He just loved old people. Kyrie not old. And he wants to be like the big brother. He wants a Robin. And LeBron do really need a Robin. For real. Bat Every Batman needs a Robin. Every Batman needs a Catwoman as well. Every Batman needs a Batgirl. Every Batman needs a Joker. Actually, not have a Joker in Batman's life will stress him out less. Or do he secretly love the Joker? Y'all seen the Batman Lego movie? Shout outs. I hate you, Joker. I hate you, Batman. They damn near kiss. I said, what? That's top four or five movies. That's on my Mount Rushmore movies, Lego Batman. Shut up. I was inside this kid's thing. It's actually really comfortable. All right, let's go down the slide. You ever been scared as a child to go down the slide? Man, I'm about 47 years old going down the slide. Listen, you never, did, you're never too old to go down the slide, okay? Don't be embarrassed. And watch out for the for the poop stain. Oh, that was fun. Tell me this is not beautiful scenery. If this ain't beautiful scenery, I don't know what is. I really don't. I really don't. You see that fire hydrant over there? You see that thingy at the top on that blue building? You see the beautiful rims on that car in front of me? Do you see those that bench in front of me? Do you see that grass, those trees is not fully grown yet? Let me try to zoom in on that one. Oh, oh. Don't do that. And <laughs> don't do that. Alright, so anyways. Boy, who am I talking about? What's the boy name? Kyrie. Um Okay, so I'm 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 happy for him. He just don't want to play LeBron. He don't want to be sunned. He felt like Robin, if anyone knows anything about Batman, Robin, ooh, I shook the camera, you saw that? I was so, I was passionate with that. Robin, shook the whole earth just with that. Okay, so Robin doesn't want to, didn't want to be Robin anymore. And you know what he did? He became Nightwing. And you know what Nightwing did? He went to his own city, Bloodhaven. Okay. And he... Batman got Gotham, Cleveland, and Kyrie wants Blue Blue Haven. Is it Blue Haven? I hope 
the geeks don't kill me because I called the blood haven instead of blue haven or vice versa but I'm pretty sure y'all know what I mean uh, so he did that and um, yeah so he wants to do that man like I can't even be mad at him maybe LeBron ain't the best for him everybody see him play and they we don't necessarily see a match I'm, that's why I'm actually extremely happy that they won the finals a year ago because like that's beautiful if you really think about it that's extremely beautiful come down 3-1 and how they basically come down I mean you had the support cast the J.R. Smiths making those shots and all that but mostly it was Kyrie and LeBron and it was like alright so we gotta basically beat us the best we can be it wasn't I mean LeBron made some good passes and all that good stuff like you always do but most of the time it's like alright give me the ball all right, I'm a little tired here Kyrie give the ball and like sure there was factors I don't even consider that Draymond Green suspension and none of that the reason why, to be honest. It's just, I don't even consider that Steph's behind the back pass is a, what's the reason? The fact is that they had four minutes and 47 seconds to score one basket and they didn't. And then Kyrie Ray Island, LeBron James' career. And it's beautiful, man. They couldn't do it without each other, but that style of gameplay, it, it was it was cool, that Superman ball. I guess at that moment he proved. He proved in the finals too, man. He made some. He was scoring over the whole team. I was like, Kyrie is not playing. It was beautiful to see, man. People like Russell Westbrook, the way they play, you like, can a, can a second superstar... Remind me of Allen Iverson. Can the separate is this superstar so super? They, there I go again. Is this superstar so super that he can't? Another superstar can't exist around him, aka AI, the AI effect, AI. Or the only superstar that he can he basically got was uh the Kim Bay Mutombo, and he was all defensive. Let AI score, everybody else play defense. Let Russell Westbrook score, let, let everybody else play defense. That's not going to win you the game. That's not going to win you the ball. You need a superstar. James Harden. Because, especially in the playoffs, you really get to see people's true identity. James Harden and the Rockets, what was their identity? Dude run to the basket, either he's going to pass it or shoot it. And if he's shooting, he miss, he's going to get fouled. If he make, he's going to get three points. James Harden is a Hall of Famer just because he discovered, like, and discovered how to score and win. I always appreciate his game, but at the same time, I don't know. Man. You see that? Beautiful. Let me get my pick out. Let me bring something. Listen. This is how I know that these kids, this is the kids' home right here. When I was over there, there was two kids. I walk away 30 seconds later, they multiply. Hey. I gotta go back that way to go home. Man, I think they're going to tie me up and kidnap me. You see that dude hanging on the monkey bars all the way over there? He building up his strength. Anyways, man, back to Kyrie. What team would I like to see him on, man? I don't know. I think Kyrie realized that he's a superstar, man. He has superstar. He has superstar like offense. That's for sure. You know, in order to be superstar, I believe that you either have to be on the, on the All NBA teams or just a star in general. You have to be on the All NBA teams. You have to be an All Star, or you have to win some type of award, accolade. And once you're a star, you never really. 
stop being a star to me. Like Kobe Bryant, even though he not played like a star, even though he said he was the, he was the 200th or 400th worst, best player in the world, whatever. That don't mean that he wasn't a star. You still have to show that respect to him, because he got it. They still, they they might be a fallen star, just like people like Lonzo Balls and things like that are rising stars. And you just have to. Keep that in mind, man. Kyrie, man, I really wish him the best. He don't want to play LeBron. He wants to. It's just like Kevin, man. Eventually, like when you get there at first, you're having fun. The person, you, the people you're playing with is great. They real, you know, they're amazing and all that. And then what happens? You realize it stopped being fun and it becomes work. It's like Kevin Durant wants for us. It always seemed like it's work. He it work. He has to work to win these games, both of them, because it's just them. You know, they they're not really playing team ball like that, and their personalities not personalities. Their uh, uh, their games don't really be reflecting on each other like that, and um, and it shows, man. Like you can't you can't fool the eyes. Like you see what's going on. Just in case people don't want to admit that. And I guess Kyrie wasn't having fun. No one expected it. I sure didn't. But I think Kevin Love felt that when he first... I feel like Kevin Love kind of felt like that too. But he like, oh, Kyrie did it. I don't think I can. And he got... Uh, he got a few more years in him. And LeBron leaves. I think he might get opt out or he might stay there one more year. But y'all got the ring. Y'all tried, man. I still think that, that ring is... This might sound crazy, but it's, I think it's worth two because just the that ring is one of the biggest rings in Bay history. And what I mean by that is just that three-one comeback, three-one comeback, man, against the best team statistically of all time. You, LeBron, put himself in the top five to me when he did that, and uh, I know that. LeBron do you get a lot of credit for that. And uh, Kyrie should get way more credit too. But still, he put he top five, man. Best best small four for sure. He top five best. He's top five best. Top three best. Top two, maybe. Maybe just behind Jordan. Jordan comes his best. He can even say he the best. But he, he has at least, if he wins a ring in Cleveland again, Without Kyrie, he knocks off Magic Johnson for for uh, one of those Mount Rushmore spots, I believe. Cause he ma he's Magic plus Mike. If he gets a sixth ring somehow, some way, if he wins one of Cleveland, goes to L.A. or the Rockets and wins two more matches, a Michael, then he'd be the greatest. It's never you can never lose hope. Just because you lose a final don't mean you can't beat Michael. Okay? Bill Russell won eleven rings. Michael got six. That's five more. And he's still Michael's still better. Because it's like the best overall. If you didn't know anything about the players and you just uh you just if you did okay. If a player if you didn't know anything about the act, if you just saw them play, if you saw them play and you knew their stats and stuff like that, and everybody was in a draft, LeBron would probably pick number one, number two at best, number five at worst. So, um, just keep that in mind. But just because he LeBron James, just because he Michael Jordan, just because he Kobe Bryant, doesn't mean that he wants to be played. People wants to play with him. Some people just, some people can't tolerate that greatness comes with. It's the it's two sides of every coin type of thing. That greatness is a cost, and I guess it might be causing them their friendship.